Hello YouTube. Hey, I'm going to do a quick tabletop review of a, a couple of revolvers here. These are Smith & Wessons. Uh, one is the 686 Plus. The other is a Model 629 Taylor Edition. Let me uh, start with this. This is the uh, Model 686 Plus chambered in 357 Magnum. It's a two and a half inch barrel. These are snap caps. The gun is clear. I always uh, dry fire with snap caps. That's why these are in here. <clears throat> uh, this is a seven shot. The 686 Plus is the seven shot. The 686 is a six shot. This is the uh, two and a half inch barrel. That's measured uh, from the forcing cone to the end of the barrel, uh, in case you didn't know that. Um, like all uh, modern Smiths, it's got the lock. Not a fan, uh, but it's not a deal breaker. It's a really great gun. Um, it's a heavy trigger pull, double action, like most revolvers. Pretty stiff. And single action, really easy. I mean, it takes nothing for that to go off. How far back that trigger is, there's nothing. Set that dude off. I usually shoot 38 specials out of it, just because that's cheaper. Uh, I gotta take it to the range and indoor range. That's where I do uh, most of my shooting. Uh, the 357s I shoot are 158 grain, and that's a lot of fun and a lot of flame out of this short barrel. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. But it's, uh, it's a great gun. I did, as you can see, a little bit white out that red ramp front sight. When I first got it, it was a little difficult to pick up the front sight on a uh, orange or reddish bullseye. I was having trouble seeing it. At the indoor range, the lighting could probably be better. Uh, I imagine my eyes could be better. But I just put uh, used a paint marker to fill that in white. You can see it's starting to come off. Uh, as I clean the gun, it wears off. <clears throat> and it's getting easier to see. I think I'm getting used to it. I'll probably just go ahead and take that off and just go back to red. And uh, go with it. Seven shots of uh, 38 specials or 357. It's a lot of fun. Love this gun. Two and a half inch barrel. Uh, it comes in a three, four, and six. I'm not sure if it comes in five or not. Uh, I initially wanted the four inch barrel. Went to my local gun store. Uh, and they didn't have it. They had a two and a half. So I said, you know, let me check it out, hold it, and feel it, and see what it's like. And I liked it. Went ahead and went with it. I'm glad because it's a it's a lot of fun. I like short barrels. The grips, one piece factory grips. Um, sort of a stiff rubber, not a tacky rubber, but they're easy to hold on to. I like them. I, uh, I'll leave these on, but it's, uh, really great gun, a lot of fun. So, that's that. The, uh, other gun I have over here. Take a look at this real quick. This uh, this is a step up. Again, more snap caps. It is not loaded. This, this is a model 629, 44 Magnum, Halo edition. Sweet, three-inch barrel, Halo edition. You can see the uh, custom wood grips. 
uh, they look great, they feel great. That texture uh, is called lizard skin. I really like it. This is heavy duty. A lot of fun to shoot. Love taking it to the indoor range. There's a look at the uh, red front sight. Um, didn't have any problem with it when I took it to the range seeing it. So I'm going to leave that red. Uh, the 686 and 686 Plus, that's the L frame. This is the next size up, the N frame. This is 44 Magnum. <clears throat> uh, six shots. And this is a sweet gun. It's another flamethrower. I, uh, I've only been shooting 44 Magnums out of it, 240 grain. Because uh, the 44 Specials, I look online, I look off the shelf. I can't find a 44 Special any cheaper than 44 Magnums. Um, so I'm going to stick with the Magnums. I uh, got a box of Winchester white box, 240 grain, 44 Magnum, 50 rounds. Ends up being about 80 cents a round. Um, I'm looking, I usually buy ammo bulk online. And right now the best, uh, 44 Magnum, 240 grain in a brass case I found, 250 rounds uh, will end up costing me, even with shipping, uh, about 50 cents a round. So I'm gonna go that route. The, uh, the 240 grain has some kick, but it's manageable. Uh, it's not going to break your wrist, but yeah, if, you, if you're not careful, it's going to break your 401k. Uh, it can be kind of spendy, especially if you're paying 80 cents a round and you like to shoot as much as I do. I really like to go and spend all day at the range. Um, a little bit of polish. Uh, I like, I, I, what I don't like about the grips are finger grooves, just because they don't match my hand so much. Uh, some people they fit great, some people they don't, so it's, it's not bad. I can still get a good grip on it. Um, they look good, they feel good other than that. I just don't like the finger grooves. Uh, I do like the exposed back strap. As opposed to my other revolver that's a one piece and no back strap. So it's kind of nice to have that contrast. Um, it's a lot of fun to shoot. It's loud and it throws flames. Sounds fun, looks fun. A good looking gun, it's heavy. Sure would hate to carry these all day, either one of them, because they'll be pulling your pants down. But, man, are they fun. Good looking guns, fun to shoot. Uh, I've polished both of them. Keep them nice, clean, shiny. They're a lot of fun. Uh, take a look at the cylinders. When I was looking at that at the uh, 629 online, I already had the model 686. I uh, was hoping to find a video comparing the two, just curious to see the difference in cylinders. So there's a bit of a look at that. Uh, I have seen pictures of a 686 Plus, Talo edition. It's got the custom grips anyway. Kind of be nice to have a matching pair. But anyway, these are these guns. They're a lot of fun. Hope this uh, video was helpful. Just a quick shout out to uh, uh, Hickok45. I really like their videos, Hickok and Son. If anybody is watching this video, hasn't seen any of their videos, uh, you need to go check those out. Check them out. They're doing some really neat stuff. Shooting a lot of neat guns, making a lot of cool videos. They're very informative and uh, educational and entertaining. And uh, a lot of fun, and you learn a lot. Anyway, hope you like this video. I'll see you around.